and there is an opening in the roof, and that's the way how we can come into the house. So I come down the ladder that was here, like that, uh, uh, in the wall, and then leaning uh, on the on the in the floor, leaning on the wall, and up uh, to the opening. So I come down and I step on this step here, and then there is a nice platform behind me. And there are very important things behind me in that little niche on the wall. It's like a shelf where important things are put. And I have to be careful not to damage any of that. So I step down. And this is the kitchen area. This the line here shows where the kitchen begins on this side. And so I walk down the kitchen. And I don't want to get that way because that's where the uh, oven is. And it's hot and a little dirty around there. But then I have to come to this edge. And here we have a big threshold, and it's really uh, white and beautiful, and it has a, a spots of a red paint down here on it, indicating that this is an important area. And so I have to clean my feet a little bit, and then I step into the central area, and that is a large open area, which is very important because that area connects all the other areas in the building. So this is the central point in many ways, and we all walk through this area, but we, uh, not all of us walk everywhere we want in this area. So some people, like the older people, only are allowed to sit on this platform or sit and sleep on this platform, because this is where uh, our ancestors were buried, and so this is a sacred place in the house. And the same goes for this platform as well, and so we children, we are allowed to play in the middle and sleep in the middle, and we are allowed also to go in the areas where food is uh, kept, stored, and prepared. And so what I would do, I would come here to the central area in this phase of the building. And you can see here we have a lot of uh, floor remains of the storage bins. And you can imagine these storage bins had walls like that. We had four of them. One is missing completely. But they were uh, later on, uh, they were cut by us, truncated so that we could put a new floor on top. And that we wanted that floor to be as low as possible, not to be very high up. So we truncated the sides of these bins. But when the bins were in use, they had the walls and they had a lot of uh, stored food inside, dry food, seeds and, and beans and uh, lentils and so forth. So, um, and in front of me, I had a little screen wall up to here built. So I had to lean over there and get some of this food and put it in a basket and then put the basket here on this floor and then I would clean that. I would clean that and prepare it for cooking. And then I would go, uh, I would step on this platform again uh, over a ridge that indicates that this space, this floor is not the same as that floor. This floor is dedicated to different activities and so I would come here and I would put uh, my uh, seeds into a boil pot, ceramic pot, with water, and then I would put it on top of this oven. This was our oven. It had flattish roof. It had a roof that was up to here, and so we could uh, warm and cook food on the roof of, it, of the oven, or put it inside. And this is where the opening was. So we would put, we put uh, food inside and bake it or whatever. And then we would clean it after that. We would clean the ashes and remains of wood and uh, collect it in this little area, this little feature here. And then take those ashes, put them in a, another basket, take them out of the house and keep them in a pile in a special place uh, from which we would take these ashes when we needed them to do for a variety of purposes that we use ash. We use it for uh, uh, putting it in a special um, uh, parts of the house when we are doing rebuilding of the house. And um, we use it a lot for uh, when we want to clean certain surfaces, we use ashes to clean the surfaces with and so forth. Um, what else? <laughs> I'm just getting too... The central period. <laughs> I'm just getting too much into this. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, it's great. The other thing was just talking about why you didn't go over and 
in special places because maybe your your aunts or uncles or whoever were there. Yeah, well, I, yes. You, just, you, you, and, and wanted to, you wanted to talk really about this, why we, yeah. we were buried here, children were buried yeah, yeah. here, yeah. and our ancestors were buried here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. So this big platform, you see, I can't, even now I cannot step on it. I just step stand near it. This big platform was our uh, biggest and most beautiful and most important platform in the house. It was very high up in comparison with the rest of the floors. And it had a wall next to it, this little wall, and it was painted. The wall plaster was painted in red, and that whole surface was painted in red. And the platform was white, as I said. And our ancestors were buried inside, and we had several, we had three very important people from our family buried in here. And we did have one child buried, but that child was very special because it was the child of the, our oldest ancestors that we remember. And so when this child died as a, a little baby, with it, it was decided by the family to bury the child in this adult platform, so to speak. The rest of the children were um, in, the, uh, in the family were buried here in the central area. And they were buried, we had three uh, children buried here, two of the, one in this area, one in that area, and one in the central area. They were buried more or less, these two at the same time, and the one in the center was buried slightly earlier, a couple of years earlier. And so they were about nine years old, these ones, these two, uh, eight, nine years old, and they were in a position like this. And one was holding it, it had like that, and the other one, well, something like that, right? But otherwise, everything, in every other respect, they looked exactly the same. And the, the child that was buried in the center here was buried in a basket. It was a young, it was a baby, buried in a basket and had a, 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 a bracelets made of beads and each arm had a different beads, so a bracelet made of different beads. And it was buried with a box in which was a, a, a painting tools. And these are body painting tools, we believe. It was one nice uh, bone needle, and then some uh, traces of red paint, red, red minerals used, used for red paint or for blue and green, green paint. And there was a shell in which most likely they were mixing these minerals before they were paint, painting with them. <laughs> Where were the, um, the two skulls found? Ah, the two skulls, yes, that's important. Oh, um, so the central space of the house was uh, really uh, symbolically important also. And uh, when people decided to abandon the house and not live in here any longer, they, they built another house and moved on to live in the other space. This area was uh, dedicated to be our midden in which we would uh, deposit all our trash. And uh, we were doing it starting from the beginning here. And this is where the first trash came in. And in this area, we also wanted to mark that area so, and to, um, to connect spiritually with the house. So we left in the house two skulls that were uh, lying right here. Slightly that way, right in the middle. Right here, right here. OK. Two skulls of our ancestors were positioned there, and then in, next to it we had a big, big Ukrainian, and this is the, the head uh, and the horns of a cow, big cow, right here. And um, we also a part of an old uh, fire installation or, or oven put next to it, because the oven marks um, also the, the domestic space, the, the home, it marks home and ancestors from that home, and a very sacred and important animal, which is a cattle. And so part of the cattle was there too. 